Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another portfolio update on my Robinhood portfolio. As you can see, my portfolio is right now $80,006.37. So today, it went up huge. <laughs> As you can see here, today I made $4,686.10. So it's up 6.22%. Uh, In the past week, it's... Uh, it's up about $5,782, so that's 7.79%. Really happy. As you can see, it's just going up and up. I have to thank um, all the recovery stocks that I invested in, like the airlines. United Airlines went up huge today. I think it went up like close to 10%. And Alibaba too. Although, with United Airlines, I actually got rid of them because um, I decided I'm going to invest in the airlines in a different way. So I actually got rid of my uh, put credit spreads that I uh, opened. So those are gone. But I did keep my Alibaba uh, leaps and the covered call. So I placed this way too low. 275. Can you believe this? Okay, so I sold these Alibaba covered calls with a strike price of only 275 and the expiration date, what is this? 918, so the 18th of, uh, no, the 18th of September. I can't believe it. I, I totally underestimated how far up Baba would go. Today it's already 276. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I have a I have to thank Alibaba for most of my gains in the past week because it has just gone up huge. I think I invested in the leaps back when um it was only I think 257 uh share price. So these leaps, right? Leaps are basically um, I bought these call options deep in the money, so it's only two hundred dollar strike price, way below the the share price now of two seventy six, um, and it expires in twenty twenty two, January twenty first, twenty twenty two, so super far out. The break even price is only two seventy five and ninety three cents. It's already above that. Crazy, right? I I didn't expect it. To grow this much like I know Baba is a gross stock but this is super fast <laughs> like wow as you can see here today's return is plus 10.5 percent and my total return is 21 percent on these leaps I I am so shocked that Alibaba is growing this fast <sighs> wow so yeah I the thing with Alibaba is, um, I think leaps are one of the best ways to invest in Alibaba right now. So that's why I'm keeping these. I, I thought about getting rid of these two, but no, nah, I'm holding on to them because they've really worked out for me well so far. Airlines, airlines are a little more volatile. They spike up sometimes, but then they come right back down. It's, it's kind of annoying actually. Um, really frustrating because I was I was investing in Spirit Airlines for a while and when it, it went up right and I it, it would never hold it would go up to like 18 or 19 dollars and then go right back down to 16 and I'm like wow this is it, <laughs> it's like a roller coaster of emotions if you look at the graph actually it's like a roller coaster yeah like United Airlines right that's what I'm uh, investing in right now in terms of airlines I, I got rid of all of them uh, today, but my god. Like, look at this. It, it literally looks like a roller coaster. You go up, and then go down for the drop, and then go up again. And I'm expecting a drop soon. That's why I sold it here. So yeah, I'm not confident that airline stocks can actually hold their price for long. They'll spike up, but then I, I kind of expect them to just go back down eventually. At which point I'll re-enter, but yeah, I, I, I just took my profits right now, took money off the table, 
and uh, I'll wait for another day um, for a better entry point. Baba, though, I'm staying in. Oh, my goodness. And even with these call options, I, I think I'm just going to get rid of them, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. But, man, I was stupid to just sell cover calls at this low of a strike price. Only 275 It's already 276 I should have made it at least, like, maybe 290 or something. Well, whatever. I can't really complain because at the end of the day, even though I set the strike price pretty low, I still end up making money. I believe if it goes to, um, what is it, 280 then I might take money off the table. But, wow. So, the new type of thing I want to invest in are spreads. And this is something that I haven't really done much of uh, beforehand, but I could have uh, opened some today, but I decided not to because I didn't really see any good opportunities that I'm super confident in anyways. Like United Airlines, right? It's at 36. I would say if it went up to like 40, then I would probably open some um, call credit spreads. Or I was debating on opening them uh, up some uh, some put credit spreads last week when it was around 33. But right now it's right in the middle. I thought about doing some Iron Condors too. Um, now that it's in the middle, but for some reason Robin Hood won't let me. It's uh, locked for some reason. Anyways, we're back in the eight, the eighty thousands again, so I'm happy about that. I have not technically reached ninety thousand ever, so that's the next point that I want to reach. The next checkpoint is I want to reach ninety thousand dollar portfolio total, and hopefully I can do that soon. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking of really trying out some. Uh, Mostly put credit spreads because generally the market likes to go up. But if I see the good opportunity, I'll do some call credit spreads also. And these Baba, oh my goodness, I love Alibaba stock. I might just get rid of these covered calls and just hold on to the leaps. It, I'm just amazed at how fast it's growing. But yeah, so this is my portfolio so far. I'm super bullish on Baba. And I like to trade airlines depending on where they're at. Right now, they're kind of in the middle. It's like a weird area. Um, so I just took them off the table. I'm not really doing anything with them right now. I'm going to wait till they either go up really high or really low. And then I'll well, figure it out. So yeah, $80,000 right now. Hopefully, I'll reach $90,000 soon. All right, that's my portfolio, guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.